today in their last regular season home games as Giants, ladies and gentlemen, Harry Carson. One of the very greatest Giant players in history, without question. A shoe in for the Hall of Fame, I think. Um, durable, mentally very strong. One of a group of prototype inside linebackers. Thinking back to Butkus, Nobis, Carson I think was the next in the line. Good balance, good speed, relentless in pursuit, into the physical aspect of the game. For 13 seasons, Harry Carson defined the position of NFL middle linebacker. Carson was voted to a league record nine Pro Bowl appearances and once made an astonishing 25 tackles in a single game. But regrettably, for much of Carson's career, the rest of the Giants were not able to play at the same level. As New York stumbled through an endless string of losing seasons, the fiery Carson seethed with anger and frustration. I walked off a couple of times. Uh, people had to talk me into coming back. And I asked to be traded several times. Now, it, you know, it was no, no secret. I wanted out. My attitude was, I'm just going to go out and do the best that I can do personally. And whether we win the game or not, as long as I give 100% inside of me, then I'm satisfied because there's nothing more that you can do. And that's the way I survived. My role with the Giants was as a run stopper. I was not in there to cover backs, speedy backs coming out of the backfield on third down. I was in there primarily to butt heads with those offensive linemen to stop the running backs in the hole. And that was primarily why I was there to roam from side to side, to make tackles, make tackles in the backfield, and just to stop the run. Every once in a while, I would luck up and get an interception or bat a ball down and it would surprise everybody in the stadium. But um, my role primarily was as a run stopper, run defender. By the early 80s, Carson finally got some relief with help from the Giants college draft. With the coming of players such as budding superstar Lawrence Taylor, Harry Carson's hard luck years were finally over. The arrival of Lawrence made my job a little easier. <laughs> Because uh, when Lawrence first got to the Giants, we had a good linebacking core with Brian Kelly and Brad Van Pelt. And we were playing 4-3 uh, defense. And when Lawrence came in, we adjusted and, made, and we went to uh, the 3-4. And Lawrence made our jobs much easier because of his talent, because of his hunger, and eventually because of his money, because all of the salaries started to go up. <laughs> The money, the fame, and the victories jumped dramatically as the Giants became one of the preeminent powers in the NFL. And Harry Carson, a star when the Giants were losers, was now even more creative in the manner by which he helped his team to win. That spot. Oh, they're going to throw the ball. They're going to get a touchdown if he holds it. Touchdown! Harry Run Carson! To Harry Carson! But Harry made his biggest splash with a soggy sideline ritual. Here comes Harry Carson now. He's looking for the Gatorade. Everybody is staying in his stadium. He's got it. Parcells is up there without the headset, and they get it. If you know Bill Parcells, he's very superstitious. If you do something one week, and if it works, and we win, you have to do it again. So in 86, as we started to win, the Gatorade splashes started, and he knew that they were coming. The Giants themselves were just as relentless, storming through the NFL en route to their decisive victory over Denver in Super Bowl XXI. I had an opportunity to see the Giants go from a team that was used as a doormat to a team that was top of the mountain. Being a Giant, it's just a tremendous sense of pride because I have followed in the footsteps of some great people. M.M. Tunnell, Rosie Brown, Sam Huff, being a giant, that is my life. The experiences, the friendships that I've made are things that I will take with me to my grave.